Many of the features that we're going to take a look at in the edit menu today can be accessed with a keyboard shortcut. Let's take a look. The main sections of the edit menu have almost single-handedly ended the use of traditional mediums such as paints or pen and ink in production environments. The history, clipboard, and transform features have so radically sped up work for artists that a traditional painter simply can't keep pace with today's digital artists. These tools are so powerful that you can find most of them in every program that you'll ever use, whether it's Microsoft Windows, Office, Final Cut Pro, or even World of Warcraft. First up on the menu is the history section. This section lets us walk back in time and remove some of our brush strokes, color corrections, or other actions. Undo is the most basic form of history manipulation. This lets you take back only your most recent action. The keyboard shortcut, which is universal across most programs, is Control Z on PC or Command Z on Mac. This shortcut will work most everywhere. If you're in a folder sometime and you accidentally delete a system file, you can just hit Control Z and Windows will put everything right back where it belongs. Photoshop has two more advanced versions of Undo, which are Step Forward and Step Backward. With these two, we're able to move back and forth among several of our recent changes. We're going to find the clipboard options in most programs as well. Cut, copy, and paste are so widely used you'll even find them in games such as World of Warcraft. First up is Cut. This function takes whatever area you've selected in the image and removes it while storing a copy in the computer's memory in an area we call the clipboard. The keyboard shortcut is Control x on PC or Command x on Mac. Copy does almost exactly the same thing, however it doesn't remove the selected area, instead it just saves a copy to the memory. Control or Command C will activate the copy function. There's also the option to copy merged. Usually when we copy a selection, we only get the items on a single layer that we have selected. When we copy merged, we get a copy of everything that is visible within the selected area. Finally, when we have something copied to the clipboard, we can then paste it back into our image at a later time. The basic paste option is accessed through keyboard shortcut Control or Command V. There are some other options available to us in the edit menu. For example, we can paste in place, which will drop our clipboard selection right back into the same area where we found it, though it will be on a new layer. And there are also options to paste inside or outside. These options will create a new layer with a mask based on the area that we have selected. The last main area of the edit menu is the transform area. Now this area allows us to manipulate the shape of our selection or image. We can flip the image horizontally or vertically, or we can rotate it. We can also scale and distort it in a number of ways. The newest addition to this is the Puppet Warp tool, which allows us to break up an image into sections and move it around. Photoshop does some basic calculations, which will hopefully minimize distortion of the item that we are manipulating. For example, we can straighten this railroad, or we can move around someone's arm. Play around with these options, and in no time you'll find that your workflow has increased tremendously. Well, those are the main features that we're going to cover in this section. Also, though, the spell checker will be in this menu, as well as a find and replace text, but those are pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to cover defining of custom shapes, patterns, and brushes once we have some more practical experience using the tools that will help us create them. We're also devoting several videos to color settings and keyboard shortcuts as well, so keep an eye out for those. One last feature that I'll mention here before we go is the fill option, specifically the content aware fill. I'll give you a quick preview here of what this powerful feature can do and we'll cover it later on in the series. Please comment, rate, and subscribe below, and if you have any questions, send them to requests at mahalo.com. Remember to play around with the settings that we went over today, and I'll see you next time when we talk about the image menu.